Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about mailbox in system wedlock. So a system wedlock mailbox is a way to allow different processes to exchange data between each other. It is similar to a post box where letters can be put into the box and a person can retrieve those letters later on. So system wedlock mailboxes are created as having either a bounded or unbounded queue size. A bounded mailbox can only store a limited amount of data and if a process attempts to store more messages into a full mailbox, it will be suspended until there's enough room in the mailbox. However, an unbounded mailbox has unlimited size. So this mailbox is used to pass the data between two different components in a test bench. So this mailbox acts as a medium for passing the data between the two components between in a test bench. So this mailbox is of two types. One is bounded and other is unbounded. So in case of bounded mailbox, if the mailbox is full and if the and if we try to put the data into the mailbox further, it will not accept, it will suspend until there is enough room in the mailbox. In case of unbounded mailbox, the size is unlimited. So in case of bounded mailbox, size is limited. Whereas in case of unbounded mailbox, size is unlimited. So now mailbox is of two types. One is generic mailbox and other is parameterized mailbox. Generic mailbox can accept items of any data type, whereas Parameterized mailbox can accept items of only a specified data type. System wedlock mailbox versus queue. So a system wedlock mailbox essentially behaves like a queue. It is quite different from the queue. A simple queue can only push and pop items from either front or the back. However, a mailbox is a built-in class that uses semaphores to have atomic control to push and pop from the queue. So a mailbox is similar to queue, but its functionality is different. In case of queue, we can push and pop the data from the queue either from front or either from back. But, a, but in case of a mailbox, in case of a mailbox, it is like a FIFO, we cannot access the individual index. In case of mailbox, we cannot access a given index within the mailbox queue, but only retrieve items in FIFA order. Here, in case of mailbox, we cannot access individual index, rather we can access the data items in order. Usage of mailbox. So a system with log mailbox is typically used when there are multi multiple threads running in parallel and want to share the data for which a certain level of determinism is required. So if there are, if in a test bench, multiple components are working parallelly, then here we need a mailbox. Let's see an example of generic mailbox. Here we are considering a module called TB and we are declaring a mailbox with syntax mailbox and MBX is the name of the mailbox and new of two. This is the creation of mailbox. Two mailboxes are created here we are creating a mailbox mailbox is a with keyword mailbox and mbx is the name of the mailbox equal to new of two two represents that all at most two items this mailbox can store we are taking two initial beginning blocks this blocks run parallelly in first initial beginning block we are taking a for loop which runs for i equal to 0 to 5 and i will be incremented and we are taking a delay of one time unit and we are putting the data into the mailbox with the syntax mbx dot mailbox name followed by put in the bracket we are putting the data this is a syntax for putting the data into the mailbox mbx dot put of i and we are displaying thread 0 put item percentage d size is equal to percentage d and we are displaying the time and we are displaying the data and we are ending the initial beginning block and we are 
and this block keeps putting items into the mailbox the rate of items being put into the mailbox is 1 every nanosecond so for every 1 nanosecond one data is being put into the mailbox and here we are considering another initial beginning block in this block we are declaring a variable of in data type called idx and we are taking a time delay of 2 nano and we are taking a delay of 2 time units and here we are getting the data by using the syntax mailbox name dot get of idx and here we are displaying thread1 got item and we are displaying the size and time and idx value and this block 2 keeps getting the items from the mailbox the rate of items received from the mailbox is 2 for every 1 nanosecond so for every 1 nanosecond we will get 2 data items and here in block 1 for every 1 nanosecond we are putting 1 data item let's see the output so at the output we are getting put item has 0 size is equal to 1 and thread 1 got item has 0 size is equal to 0 and thread 0 put item hash 1 size is equal to 1 and put item hash 2 size is equal to 2 so initially at time unit at 0 time units we are putting and getting the data at 0 time unit only you are putting the data and getting the data at 1 nanosecond time unit you are putting the data and at 2 nanoseconds or also and at 2 nanoseconds also data is being put and at same time unit and at same 1 nanosecond unit data the data is being get and at 3 nanoseconds again the data is put and at 2 nanoseconds the data is being get like this the data is passed between two components using the mailbox like this the data is being passed between two parallelly running blocks two parallelly running blocks using the mailbox let's see some built-in functions in mailbox function new of int bound equal to zero returns a mailbox handle bound is greater than zero represents the size of the mailbox here new function new followed by an int bound represents the number of items present in the mailbox or the size of the mailbox if it is 2 or 3 then the size of the mailbox is 2 or 3 next function int num returns the number of messages currently in the mailbox this function will returns the number of messages currently in the mailbox task put singular message put is a task in the mailbox this is a blocking method until this method is completed it it will not allow the next assignment to be started so this task is a blocking method that stores a messages in the mailbox in fifo order messages in any singular expression function in try underscore put this is a non-blocking method that stores a messages if the mailbox is not full returns a positive integer if successful else zero so built-in functions in mailbox are new this will returns the size of the mailbox and we have other function called num this will return number of messages in mailbox and a task called put with the help of this predefined task we can put the data into mailbox this is a blocking method and try underscore put which is a 
non blocking method which is also used to put the data into mailbox so the difference between blocking and non blocking is in case of blocking method that is put method if we use put method until the met until the data is put into the mailbox it will not execute the next statement in the order whereas in case of non blocking method if the mailbox is full it will return zero that means the data is not put into the mailbox whereas if the mailbox is not full then the data is put into the mailbox and it will return one whereas in case of put if the mailbox is full then the method will block and it will not execute further whereas if the mailbox is not full it will put the data into the mailbox and it will further executes the program task get so this is a this is also a inbuilt function which is so with the help of this task we can get the data from mailbox from mailbox until the data is received from the mailbox it will not execute further whereas try underscore get is a non blocking method which will not block ex which will not block the further executions it will return zero if no data is been get and it will return one if it receives data peek copies one messages from the mailbox without removing the messages from the mailbox queue so by using the get method we will get the data from the mailbox and the data is being removed from the mailbox and the data is being removed from the mailbox whereas with the help of peek method we will get the data but this method will not remove data from mailbox it will just copy the data from the mailbox it will not remove the data from the mailbox whereas this get method will remove the data from the mailbox whereas this peek method will not remove the data from the mailbox it will just copy the data from the mailbox parameterized classes by default a system wedlock mailbox is typeless and hence can be and hence can send and receive objects of mixed data types although this is a good feature it can result in type mismatches during the simulation time and results in error to constrain the mailbox to accept and send objects of fixed data type it can be parameterized to a particular data type so this parameterized mailboxes can send or receive data of one data type of one data type so this will avoid type mismatch during the case of simulation here let's see an example of parameterized mailboxes we are taking a mailbox and we are parameter and we are parameterizing with a string data type so this mailbox can put and get the data of only this string data type and this is a name of the and this is the name of the mailbox and we are using type def so with so this s underscore m m box will acts as a mailbox here we are creating a class called compon and s underscore m box is a mailbox since we are using type def so this will be acting as a mailbox of string data type and names is the name of the mailbox and within a task send within a for loop which is incrementing from 0 to 2 we are putting the string into the mailbox names dot put of s and within one time unit delay we are displaying the value of s at time and 
the value of this string and here string s is equal to dollar s format f name underscore percentage 0 d comma i here we are assigning the value of s which is equal to name underscore percentage 0 d comma i here dollar s format f name underscore percentage 0 d comma i here we are declaring within a for loop i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus if i equal to 0 basically this dollar s format f will combine this two for example if i equal to 0 then here i will be equal to 0 and the output will be name underscore 0 this i will be copied to this percentage d so the output will be name underscore 0 and this will be stored in s s is a string type string data type so like this the dollar s format f will work and similarly if i equal to 1 then s will be equal to name underscore name underscore 1 i will be copied to this percent percentage d and uh, if i equal to 2 then s will be equal to name underscore 2 like that it will be stored in the s and we are displaying the value of s and we are putting the value the data s into the mailbox in this task cell and we have in we have another class called comp2 so this is a second component to receive the messages and we are creating another mailbox called list in this task and we have a task called receive and within for our beginning block we have a string s and list dot get s with the help of mailbox get method we are getting the data and we are displaying the data and a time unit and within module tb this is a top level module which has so basically this is a top level model tb in this module we have two components comp1 and comp2 so comp1 is sending data to comp2 and comp2 is receiving the data from comp1 using the mailbox so here we we should declare the mailbox handle in this tb and we have to declare the class instances of comp1 and comp2 in this class tb so here we are doing this we are declaring the mailbox handle s underscore mb s underscore mb mbox as m underscore mbx and we are creating the component like this and we are creating the handles of comp1 and comp2 and we are creating objects for these handles and within initial beginning block m underscore comp1 dot names is equal to m underscore mbx the declared the globally declared mailbox handle is assigned to the mailbox which is present in comp1 and mailbox which is present in comp2 basically a mailbox handle is created globally so we should assign this mailbox handle to mailbox which is present in comp1 and mailbox which is present in comp2 this we are doing here and we are calling and within folk join we are calling the tasks of send and receive which are present in m underscore comp1 and m underscore comp2 let's see the output we are getting put underscore put name underscore 0 and got name underscore 0 put name underscore 1 and got name underscore 1 and put name underscore 2 and got name underscore 2 so finally here this two task the task which is present in com component 1 and component 2 are running parallelly so with the help of mailbox we are achieving synchronization so with the help of mailbox we are achieving synchronization since the two ta two tasks are running parallelly but with the help of mailbox we are achieving synchronization that is one component is putting the data 
and other component is getting the data similarly one component is putting and other component is getting the data like this with the help of mailbox we can achieve the synchronization so that is all about parameterized and generic mailboxes and mailboxes in system log. thank you for watching this video